Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Triple Bification, also known as Triple B. I am the curator. What's up, guys? So as you know, I've stepped into a whole new world with you guys, and I'm bringing you with me. So today is a little quick video on an idea of what I do going through all my massive collection of toys and the things that keep me motivated. So here we have in front of you the Spartan. Yes, Master Chief himself, standing at a mass of 12 or 13 inches tall. This guy is a big boy. This awesome figure was made back in 2008, and he is awesome and tall. He came in three colors, blue, green, and believe it or not, like a brown. There were exclusives for different stores, Walmart, Toys R Us, and I think there might have been another one, but I'm not 100% sure. Of course, the rare one was the brown one, and I think it was also because it was the most unpopular color. But this is the original, and he is awesome. I have several of these because I was going to do some customizing and do some different color changes. But for today, we're just going to be working on his main blaster, this guy right here. So, as you may know, this is the main rifle for the Master Chief and all the other Marines in the original game and through Halo 3. But mine came with a little bit of damage because I bought him in a lot. So, he is missing a few things and we're just going to do a quick repair today. So this is what holds it onto his back to give him that cool magnetic backpack look and his front barrel was broken off. So what I did is I dremeled it out a little bit so I could get a nice clean hole and now we're going to try to find some replacement parts. Now I got a bunch of little bits and bobbles of brass. You can actually find these little packs I think still on Amazon. Uh, basically they're little uh, brass tubes of all different shapes and sizes and I find myself using them a lot. So here's one I found earlier. I think this will make an awesome barrel. And let's see, we need a peg. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that. I think we might have found a winner winner chicken dinner. Nice and solid. Looks good. All right, wham bam, thank you ma'am. A little bit of super glue and a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place. We got our pieces right in the spot. And that looks pretty dang good, I think. Now you'll be thinking to yourself, why is this thing sticking out? Well, this is actually, like I said, this is what holds his gun to his back when he is holding other weapons. The little peg is about the same size as that, so if you need a reference, you can use your grenade. Hopefully you still have it. This is usually lost if you buy a lot, but I was lucky. But yeah, so there it is, guys. And now I'm going to hit it once everything dries. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of magic. Can't recommend this stuff more. This is called Rub and Buff. <laughs> Literally called that. This is Silver Leaf uh, Rub and Buff, and this stuff is awesome. Hit it with a little bit of the rubbing buff to cover up any of the uh, glue marks. And then hit it with a clear coat. And this thing is done. But I think it looks pretty good right now so far. What do you guys think? But yeah, this is the kind of stuff I like to do. I like to repair, do a little bit of modifications, and just explore. So I hope you guys liked it. And um, I'm just going to keep on making more videos. Look at this guy. I just got done working on him too. Look, he just towers over him. There's some uh, future spoiler alerts of what I've repaired on this guy. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. And remember, I'll keep the light on for you. Bye.